The highly anticipated At Games Legends pinball was finally revealed recently, and now we're able to do a full comparison of all the available digital pinball products coming this Christmas, and I'll let you know which one I'll get. Let's get into it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning to Toycade. No doubt one of the most anticipated announcements everyone was waiting since RK1 up revealed their pinball offering at CES is the At Game Legends pinball. So let's try to answer the question on everyone's mind. Which one should I buy? I'm going to try to answer this based on my analysis and what I'm looking for as a mechanical pinball owner. This could be entirely different to you. So let's quickly summarize each unit. We have RK 1UP Pinball offering Marvel, Star Wars and Attack for Mars, each unit having 10 games. These are set to be retailed for $4.99 to $5.49, 24-inch HD screen, 8-inch LCD back screen, accelerometers, multiple solar noise for haptic feedback, and fully optimized with Zen Studios. And this is also three-quarter scale. Toy Shop, the first in the market in 2019, and retails for $3.99, 24-inch HD screen, no back screen, questionable optimization with Firesight Studio and also three quarter size. Legends Pinball to retail between $5.49 and $5.99 has a 32 inch HD screen, 15.6 LCD back screen, fully optimized with Firesight Studio and is 90% of a full scale pinball. Well played toys pinball, set to retail for $4.99, has a 24 inch TFT screen, no back screen and is fully optimized with Zacharia Pinball and is about 85% of a full size pinball. So what are the pros of each offering? RK1UP is partnering with Zen Studios. There is no doubt Zen Studio is the current market leaders in digital pinball space. They have the partnership with the most iconic companies such as Lucasfilm, Marvel and many others and their reputation is second to none. For me, the fact they have access to AAA, Barley and William titles is probably the most attractive feature and the key to being successful. Out of all the offerings, RK1 is the best looking cab. It's true to original pinball look, they offer all the bells and whistles in terms of accelerometers, haptic feedback, and they also have the addition of lockdown bars, able to lift the play field, a genuine DMD look, and the artwork of the Attack from Mars is spot on. Availability is possibly the biggest advantage RK1 has. They have proven themselves to be able to produce products in mass numbers. Although Marvel is sold out at GameStop, there is no doubt they will replenish stock early next year. Toy Shop, the cheapest of all four with $3.99 price tag. I've owned one of these and I can tell you these are built like a tank. The quality of these units are second to none. It feels really good and Jeff and Carlos from Toy Shop have great customer support. Even when I'm in Australia, they had no problems resolving my issues. At Games Legends Pinball, best value in terms of hardware. $5.99 gives you the biggest play field and the biggest back screen. Just crazy value. This, like the RK1UP, has accelerometers, haptic feedback, but also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. It's future-proofing itself, and like the Legends Ultimate, it pretty much can do everything a computer can do. Its ecosystem is ever-expanding, which is one of the most appealing aspects of the At Games Legends product range. Well Played Toys Pinball has Wi-Fi support for updates and expandability, has 8GB of internal storage, unless you're a Zacharia fan, there's nothing else attractive about this unit. Now let's focus on the cons of each unit. RK1UP. The most obvious is the screen size. 24 inch doesn't quite do it for me. I've owned a toy shop, I can tell you that looking at a 24 inch does make you feel like it's a toy. Hell, even the recent promotional video mimics Toy Shock's offering as a toy with kids playing it. It would have been perfect if RK1 had offered a 27 inch playfield as it still can retain its three quarter scale and have an acceptable screen size for the playfield. I really hope a bigger screen is coming next year because a 24 inch is just too small, most likely a deal breaker for most. Having no Wi-Fi is also disappointing. Although the Wi-Fi was to enable updates only, there was no confirmation Wi-Fi will allow leaderboards or ways to add new pinball tables. At CES 2020, it was made clear their pinball will have Wi-Fi enabled. So having this feature pulled off the specs will hurt their sales, especially when two of their three competitors offer this function. rk has come out and confirmed that the lack of Wi-Fi was to reduce costs and also meet the delivery date of Christmas 2020. Toy Shark, unfortunately the flipper lag issue has been covered multiple times in my two review video. Although they have now claimed that this has been reduced to an acceptable level, this fix is not publicly available yet and we have yet to see this in action. The version 1.2 will have the new PCB board, but it's sad to see a company who had literally a year head start of its competitors not taking any advantage while the other company was still developing their product in 2020. Yes, COVID was a thing, but we have yet to see a single shipment since Jan 2020. Really shows Toyshock does not have the resource and capacity to take on RK1 Up and that games. The well-documented bezel size still remains, despite the new two-tone design to hide this. 
and the most obvious underwhelming feature is the inbuilt games. I personally had never played Gottlieb titles produced by Farsight prior to purchasing my toy shop because most of the games were probably before my time. Unless you're a Gottlieb fan, these titles are decent at best. But when compared against Williams Barley titles offered by RK1UP, we all know which tables we prefer. At Game Legends Pinball, the aesthetics straight away when I first saw this image was confusing. It's out of proportion at the back, at the front, and also incomplete on the side. This design doesn't have the nostalgic look to it and looks compromised by the apron area. Again, same as Toy Shop, the inbuilt title is underwhelming for me. Let's hope Farsight and Act Games has upgraded its 3D technology from Toy Shop and not the same emulation used because the overall gameplay on the Toy Shop was good as a toy but not the best for a dedicated digital pinball table. To hide the underwhelming titles, heavy promotion by Act Games on a number of tables supported via streaming. But streaming pinball from the cloud, I'm really not sure how this is going to work, especially with factors such as latency, ISP, and conditions that is outside at game's control, which will hinder the pinball experience where timing is key. Poor quality control. This is not a shot at games, but it's my actual first hand experience, and also the same with many others. There is no doubt the software being delivered with this pinball will be rough and lightly tested. So expect a difficult time and a huge learning curve if you've never used an Act Games product before because you'll be watching a lot of YouTube videos to get this going. The last and most obvious problem with Act Games is availability. The fact they are still doing last minute changes and also coming out and stating that stock will be very limited really means the privileged supporters will get access to this unit in 2020. So I'm guessing the mass availability will come around mid to late 2021. And by the time, most likely a version 1.1 will be available. Who knows? Last but not least is the World Play Toys Pinball. The aesthetics is the most obvious problem here. And funny enough, the World Play Toys Pinball and the Act Game Legends Pinball, aside from the artwork, look very similar in design with its very narrow front. The fact that it's about 85% of a full-size pinball and actually very similar to an Act Games pinball, it only houses a 24-inch screen as its main play field. And that's it. No DMD, no back screen, and not even an alphanumeric display, which can be found on a toy shop. My biggest concern with the World Play pinball is the quality. The biggest red flag is the weight of the unit. As per Cool Toys video, this unit weighs only 55.16 pounds. We're talking about a pinball machine that is bigger than the three-quarter RK1 Up, which weighs 90 pounds, bigger than the three-quarter Toy Shop, which weighs about 65 pounds, and very similar to the Act Games Legends pinball, which weighs 150 pounds. And here we have a World Play Toys pinball, which only weighs 55.16 pounds. So I'm not expecting premium materials here, and most likely a budget cap. Another concern with this product is that it's possibly a rebadged China product that wasn't designed by World Play Toys. The reason why I'm saying this is because the tabletop arcade is clearly a rebadge of the Arcade Plus bar top, a product that I covered earlier in this year. But it seems that Cupid Productions, the producer of Arcade Plus products, have pulled out of the US market and will be supplying RK Plus products to World Play Toys. So to me, this is a showing of their strategy, which is different to the three other competitors. And potentially, they could be only rebadging existing product that already exists. So which one would I get? Firstly, I have no interest in the World Play Toys pinball machine. For the price of $4.99, they offer less in terms of features, screen size, game appeal, and potentially quality. And to be honest, they are unknown in the RK market. Toy Shock, sad to say, but the Act Games Legends pinball, in my opinion, will make the Toy Shock obsolete next year. Unless you want something now, three quarter scale, and built like a tank, there is no real reason to consider the Toy Shock when the Legends pinball will be available next year. So it really comes down to RK One Up and Act Games. Personally, I will buy both. I'm a huge pinball fan, especially with Williams and Barley titles. So Attack from Mars is a no brainer for me, especially when the Attack from Mars come with pro physics. Seeing Zen Shudo being heavily involved is reassuring but you can't ignore the bang for bucks the Legends pinball is offering. But to play the pinball tables you want, lag free, I'll need to invest in the PC to stream locally via OTG and buy games from Steam and then I'm still not guaranteed a good experience. The cool thing about the Legends ecosystem is that anything is possible, even the gray areas. But one thing for sure, I don't think we'll see many Legends pinball in 2020 and could be a good thing because I can just pre-order the Attack from Mars RK1 up pinball. So what do you think? Do you agree with my analysis? Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. And also let me know which one you're getting and why. But one thing's for sure, digital pinball will never replace mechanical pinball. I still love my mechanical pinball and I just purchased my Grail and hopefully I'll have a review soon. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to support the channel. 
As always, stay safe and thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.